Hello there, my name is Eamon Fakuri. I'm from Sport Truck RV in Fontana, California. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and feature the American Coach American Tradition 42Q. I will start from the front and then we'll go and talk about the chassis and how the uh, vehicle is built and then we'll take you inside. First I want to start on the front of the vehicle. As you can see the way the glass is mounted is uh, traditionally done on just automotive vehicles not the trucks or RVs but we mount it so it'll have a nice flush um, uh, look to it without having the rubber uh, seals all the way around where uh, you know uh, you don't get that beautiful elegant look on it. And uh, the way these vehicles are designed, as you can see, they have a lot of aerodynamics to them, so they could uh, not be so much uh, wind resistance to the vehicle. We also have, uh, as you can see over here, the stainless steel chrome. This one is featured all the way around the vehicle as you go, uh, uh, you know, throughout to make sure that it actually looks real nice as well as it cleans easy. Another thing I want to talk about is the, the main thing about this vehicle and the structure. It's called the Liberty Bridge. By using the uh, Liberty Bridge, it gives us uh, excellent space on the bottom of the coach to give us 31 cubic feet of storage area. I want to go ahead and come around and I want to show you the storage area that we have over here. It actually goes all the way through to the other side. And I'm going to show you. We actually could pull this whole slide, fill it in there. It's all lit from in there. You have a lot of space. And if you get closer, I want to show you something over here. See how it's built. This is one way of looking at it. This is part of the actually um, Liberty Bridge right here. There's another compartment that we carry the optional freezer or refrigerator. Another thing about the Liberty uh, Bridge is it makes it possible for us to put a 150 gallon fuel tank. And what's nice about it is you could refill the, uh, the fuel from either the right side or the left side. And this is a fuel fill tank right here. And when we go to the other side, I'll show you the other side. This is uh, another area over here for the hydraulic fluid, which is very easy to get to. And this is for the self-leveling system as well as the slides. That's why it's a big tank and it has its own storage area. I'm gonna go ahead and show you our 50 inch Samsung television that you could actually move out and slide around depending on where your seating area is. That it comes with a sound bar that's actually right behind this uh, television. This is nice for those sports events or just hanging out at a campsite with friends to enjoy. These are the house batteries. I just want you to get a little closer over here just to show you how nice they actually do all the wiring so it's not a big mess over here. It's easy to, um, uh, you know, to maintain and to keep clean around here. This is the battery control center as well as the uh, surge guard, transformers, all the electronics that you have over here. Again, easy access, well put together, and uh, anytime you ever want to maintain it or anything, it's very easy to get to. With all the storage we have, we could afford uh, to do that. Just one, another thing I want to back up a little bit over here. The front is independent front suspension with about 60 degrees turning radius. With the uh, tag axles that we have over here, it gives you an additional 12 uh, you know, uh, degrees of turning radius. So on those sharp turns that you need to do, it gives you an excellent turn, uh, turning radius for this 42 uh, foot unit. Um, they, they have the Alcola uh, aluminum wheels, it's polished aluminum, very easy to, to keep up. They, uh, they have a matching all the way through. The other thing is not for just looks alone, it also dissipates heat, keeping your brakes cooler. All these holes that you see over here keeps a nice airflow uh, to the unit. And back this way, this unit is actually powered by a 450 horsepower Cummins XME unit and 1,250 of torque that'll give you to be able to tow up to 15,000 pounds right over here, okay? Another th uh, nice thing that this has, in case you're towing a unit with air brakes, it has a, a hookup already uh, uh, ready for you 
just by putting it right in here. And you could maintain it and then looking at it and seeing exactly what's going on from uh, the driver's uh, area. This is another, uh, this is another plug-in for your trailer units. So it's easy to open this unit to maintain. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. This is engine oil fill. This is to check your oil, check your transmission. Cooling system fill uh, is right here. So very easy, color coordinated. If you come over here, very easy to, uh, to see. Nothing you have to look around for uh, to try to do the, you know, just the maintenance that you could do on your own. You do have a, a ladder that will take you up to the roof area for any maintenance or anything that you want to do up there. You do have a camera. Uh, up there that's actually uh, for, for the driver to look at and see exactly what's going on in the unit. As a matter of fact, this has a 360 degree uh, uh, camera that you could, in case you need to know what's going on around your unit while you're inside, you could just uh, check it out by looking at the camera. Very bright lights over here that you can see for people that are driving behind you. So, you know, for more safety, it's very visible along with the brake that's right up on top over here, brake light right on top. Another thing I would like to talk to you about is the side radiator, okay? This, by putting it on the side, a lot of people like that because it actually allowed us to go bigger, okay, to keep the vehicle cooler because obviously the, biggest, uh, the bigger the radiator, the better the, of the system being cooled and the engine being cooled. So by being from the side, it also doesn't collect as much uh, dust and debris. Another um, uh, exclusive thing that we have is our uh, door over here, like an emergency escape door. So this door doesn't only just open up like a pop-up window and you have to jump through. It actually lowers all the way down to the, to the ground. And I will show you later on uh, how the steps look. And you can go ahead and go down actually steps uh, with ropes uh, on the side to be able uh, to escape without having to jump uh, you know, out in, uh, um, in an unforeseen uh, emergency. Another thing I wanted to show you is there's a water fill over here in case you want to go ahead and fill our uh, uh, tank. If you're not on city water, you can go ahead and fill the, the tank. That's, uh, uh, this is the fill uh, area. I'm going to take uh, actually the opportunity to talk to you about the slide and how it mounts flush. And it looks, uh, it looks so good. Again, no resistance, but it's not only just for looks. It's also resistance, wind resistance, rattle. It's much better to have it where it's flush and it, go, and, and it goes in there. And once we get inside the unit, I'm going to show you how it works and uh, how nice it is and how nice it makes the living area. One thing I'd like to also mention is uh, all these marker lights that you have for, uh, for the safety so other people can see you. They're actually throughout the whole vehicle and I uh, failed to mention that it's, it's on the other side as well. So you have marker lights as well as guide lights. These are guide lights that actually light up uh, the, the, the area right besides the um, coach. And the reason it does that in case you go ahead and go into a camp or a site and you want it to go ahead and back up, it gives you plenty of light to be able to see as well as a, a porch light that's, that's up on top that you could light up. Now we'll go ahead and open this. This is our wet bay area. As you can see, this big blue thing is the filter, very easy to, to uh, maintain on your own without having to take it in. You have over here, uh, in case you, you don't want to use the, your regular thing, you could actually, uh, regular water supply, you could use the uh, city water by hooking it up direct to that and you can just pull it. And what's nice about this feature is once you do that, you don't have to guide it in and have a mess over here. You could actually pull it electronically. Everything is marked very well from the cold water drain to the black water, the hot water drain, water tank, bypass fill, waste, the gray water area. And you have two different, um, two different types of uh, drainage. This one here is on, um, you know, for when you don't have the sewer line hooked up, you could actually hook this up and do uh, a drain on its own very fast uh, to be able to do that. And in, in some sites or uh, like uh, speedways or something else, sometimes they have a waste truck that you actually could go and, and, uh, and dump the, the waste uh, just by using this type of hose. And it's a, it's a quick hose on that. Another thing that you have, if you're on a beach or anything like that, or even just uh, on the ground, if there's kids, or if you, you on your own just want to go ahead and uh, wash uh, a quick wash or quick rinse, this is what you have here. You have a sprayer, as well as uh, sometimes your, your um, uh, you know, animals, dogs, cats, anything like that. If you want to put some water for them, you could do that from out here as well. After you get done here, obviously you want to wash your hands. We do have an area over here where you can put paper towels and hand, uh, 
sanitizer and hand wash. This is our Aqua Hot 400D. Gives you uh, continuous hot water as well as uh, heating the uh, basement uh, of the vehicle in case it's cold weather so it won't freeze up any lines or any uh, you know, of your supplies that you have in here. So this actually keeps a nice climate throughout as well as uh, uh, the you know heating up the furnace area inside the, the, the living quarters. So excellent uh, you know technology that they have there for continuous hot water while you bathe. Another thing that they have is the Dirt Devil Central Vacuum and I'll show that the, uh, where the hookups are once we get inside the coach. That also has as you can see over here is where the uh, hookups are. Now all these compartments have LED lights to, to make it nice and easy at night when, uh, when you want to um, you know, set up and, and take a look at things and monitor things at night or when it's dark. Another thing I want to show you is this uh, electronic item right here. It actually tells you how, what's the status of, uh, you know, of uh, your tank and uh, it's all in electronic as well over here. This is the electric hookup that you want to, it's a 15 amp hookup. You could you go ahead and drag it out, hook it up. It also has a hole over here where you could actually take it through so you could be able so you're able to close the door while it's hooked up and another nice thing about that being that it's a heavy cable it has also an electronic retracting air These are the LED lights that I was telling you about that light everything up. They're all in the, in the cabins. This is the other side of the fuel fill tank. Now I showed you on the, um, uh, on, on the passenger side area um, uh, how, you know, how you open it up and you could fill from there. If you're in a filling station, you're on the right side, whatever is available, just pop in there. It's easy to fill up. You could do it on either side. This is the other side of the slide out, the one that's split with the refrigerator, so it's a split side, you don't have to pull everything. Again, slide out, very easy to maintain. And this one that goes all the way through, and again, that's only possible because of our Liberty Bridge, that we can make sure that it goes all the way through with sliders this large. This compartment here, it has the air lines, uh, air service lines. You could actually, you know, check the tires, service your tires by uh, putting air. It has, a, uh, you know, uh, hookups for air here. The other thing that it has, it's uh, the slide that's exclusive to us. I can show you. I'll just go ahead and stop over here. I'll go ahead and, and uh, show you. Another thing before I close this is it has the, the windshield wiper fill, a huge large one that uh, we have available here. If you could uh, bring the camera over here, this is where we have our generator and easy access to maintain it and uh, to get to it. So it's not hitting somewhere where no, no, nobody could get to. Now that we have the slide out, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the paint. This is a four color multi-stage paint that would keep the luster looking good for a long, long time. Just want to let you know a little detail that we have here, uh, unlike other uh, coaches, is we have the color going throughout. So when the slide is out, it's still matching, very nice, still looking good even uh, with it out instead of being, uh, you know, black or, or uh, white uh, without the colors. So they actually took the time to detail and make sure that it goes all the way through. And another thing that I didn't probably mention earlier, I just want to talk to you about the, the mirrors too on this vehicle. This is like the ones that they have on, on buses or school buses, it's very safe. It comes from the top, so it doesn't uh, you know, take away from your visibility while you're driving. These mirrors also have cameras that will run all the way through and you can actually see all of the side and it's the same thing on, on uh, both. Chrome, very nice looking. And I just want to let you know on the front, the same thing with the wipers. That's another detail that it's actually, uh, they're hooked up on the top going down, which uh, again, uh, doesn't take away from visibility. And when it's raining, it actually, the water goes down a lot faster. It doesn't uh, accumulate and uh, keep from your uh, visibility. Come on in. I just want to talk to you a little bit about the driver cab area. Very comfortable area, especially when you're actually parked. Obviously, we have the uh, auto sh uh, automatic shades that will cover the whole front end for privacy and obviously to keep the sun out and keep the vehicle cool. Um, 
they're automatic and you know you don't have to be messing with them to, trying to put them uh, up while you're driving you do have a dual screens over here which is for the cameras for your navigation system as well as radio so um, very easy very large huge uh, screens to be able to, to look at uh, while you're driving and uh, you know um, uh, try to navigate with them as well so this is the freight liner screen so you have your oil pressure your uh, your uh, gas gauge uh, your, you know your brake uh, uh, system you do uh, uh, have the controls on the steering wheel so you don't have to um, you know take off uh, take your eyes off the road while you're driving and you could uh, uh, you know ask for what you, whatever you want including uh, your um, cruise control now another thing I wanted to show you is once you uh, obviously park at your uh, site campsite or whatever you need to do it has the uh, HWH computerized leveling system so very easy uh, to work it takes the guesswork out so uh, it, uh, once you, you press that it starts leveling itself and uh, putting the jacks down I just wanted to bring you over here uh, to show you the theater seating that's an optional uh, in this unit obviously we have it um, uh, it's adjustable seating so you can go ahead and watch TV while you're lounging around it does have uh, in back of it uh, windows that you could actually you open up and enjoy the view as well if you're not watching TV you could sit on your um, uh, love seat uh, or couch over here that also turns into a sleeper if you have if you have guests over we do have like I said the television with the sound bar as well as an area with two tin outlet in case you have any um, you know items like satellite dishes uh, the electronics for it you could put over here and uh, you know work out without having to have it sit around plenty of storage it's all padded so it'll take the uh, you know uh, stuff from sliding around as well as uh, dampen any no uh, noise or or rattle you have soft clothes on all the cabinetry okay let's move uh, down to the kitchen area again you have all these soft closed drawers. This is a dishwasher that's available as well. This Fisher and Paco. And we do have over here the induction stove. And then if you, to give you more counter space, we do have the covers for it. Matching, looking good. And you could use it. We do, have, do the same thing with our sink you have full farmhouse style sink stainless steel over here just to let you know the cutting board fits real nice as well in here you cut throw any of the trash or the vegetables keep it covered keep it clean and use the counter space again a lot of space to have over here this is a microwave and convection oven convection oven so that you could use bake do all you want just as if you were home we have a full-size refrigerator as well that you could use this unit comes in with your pantry you could put all your spices all items slide out Again, plenty of room. You do have water and ice maker. Okay, come around this way, please. This is a dinette. When you're not, uh, you know, when you don't need, you can actually just keep it at two. Or if you'd like, you could go ahead and move it to where you could actually slide it out and bring the two seats that are stored in the back and make it a, you know, table for four. As you can see, everything uh, matches, so it's not no mismatch. Even your your um, shades all match looks real nice make it look like a nice uh, decor you do have again I'm going to bring you back over here the backsplash all tiled okay I'm going to go down uh, to uh, to the floor we here just to let you know same, same here the ceramic tile that goes throughout okay unlike uh, other coaches they do have carpet where the slides are are designed the slides go out and then uh, the, excuse me, goes out and then comes back up to make sure that it's level, that we could continue with the tile that goes all the way through to make the living area 
uh, you know, much nicer and much, big, uh, much bigger and easy to maintain and clean. And speaking of cleaning, when you do sweep, if you do a quick sweep over here, you just bring it all the way into the vacuum area. This is an auto vacuum. You just press it there and it just sucks uh, all the debris from uh, the broom. But if you want to go ahead, obviously, and do vacuuming, you could hook up the hoses right to your central vacuum right here. Come on over here so I can show you uh, the half bath. This is a porcelain toilet, as well as you have also matching counters over here with the full sink and cabinetry you have over here. Again, medicine cabinet. All of the cabinetry. I just wanted to show you uh, the, this one over here. It's a 10 inch firefly display that will help you uh, control all the lighting, main floor, inside, rear, um, you know, the fan, air conditioning. You could control it from um, uh, this firefly right here. We have a full king size bed that's adjustable with a remote that you have over here. We do have 110 outlets as well as USB right next to the bed. As, as you can see, I could get in and get out. So it's very easy when you get out of bed, you know, you know very easy to get out and uh, get back in. We do have these cabinets over here. Again, there's uh, an outlet, an AC outlet in the back. Uh, for any electronics for, uh, you know, your um, uh, sleep, uh, sleep uh, apnea or so, or so on. You could bring, bring that, bring the hoses through here. Once you're done in the morning, you could put it back in. It's out of the way and tucked in the way, ready for you to use later on at night. More storage. Plenty of storage. As you can see over here, look how many drawers uh, you have. You have right there, by itself, eight drawers. A full, a full open. Again, more drawers over here. Electronics. You have a wardrobe and another one on this side, same way. You have the two extra seats for the dinette table in case you need to use it. This uh, again for your vacuum, the vacuum hoses. Just put over here, but you could obviously put it anywhere you want. You do have uh, these doors, give you privacy for the bathroom area and the bedroom area. I'm gonna back up a little bit over here to show you the doors over here as well. gives you privacy from the living area. In the back of this coach, we do have a, a Whirlpool washer and dryer that's available as well. You have a control panels over here, all the relays for them. Let's put away. I'm gonna show you this shower. Plenty of room, you have seating room, you have the uh, an area to put all your shampoos right on the wall, just like any anything you see in some luxury homes, bathrooms. And this is the rainfall shower that you have, as well as a handheld. And you have the cut stone for the bottom. So they put a lot of little, you know, details to make it look real nice, as if you're in a regular uh, house. So um, this really is made that you could live in it full time. So you do have double sinks. And uh, again, medicine cabinets, plenty, plenty of storage that you could put your this stuff in. And just like I was telling you outside, I wanted to show you um, the, uh, the escape uh, route over here. This one here is, is an exit, but just as you can see, you can use it as shelves, you can put towels, you can use it, while obviously it's not being used in an emergency. It's just like an airplane thing, it has double latch open, and it goes down and you could just uh, climb out. It does have uh, on the bottom of these over here is for anti-slip tape on all the steps. When it goes down, it becomes uh, uh, like a, uh, you know, a step down to where you could get out uh, without having to jump out of a window and hurt yourself, trying to save yourself. So here's another por a full-size porcelain toilet. And again, more storage. Nobody could complain out of uh, lack of storage in this unit, I'll tell you that. Anyways, I want to thank you very much. Please contact me at the following uh, email and phone number for you know, personalized details that, that I missed that you would like to know more about. Again, my name is Eamon Fukuri from Sport Truck RV, Fontana, California. Thank you and have a great day. Hey, this is Daryl Elder with Sport Truck RV. Thank you for visiting our channel. We specialize in Super C RVs, Renegade, Numar, and ATC aluminum trailers. 
We update new content every week of all of our new inventory, so please subscribe so you never miss a new unit. Thank you.